Um, so, is it my turn? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I forgot what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All of the... Uh, I'm going to screw up that. Yeah, yeah I need yeah. to start again. <laughs> I'm Richard Thomas. I'm a lecturer in the Faculty of Engineering, Architecture and IT at UQ, and I'm the Program Director for Software Engineering. Nazia is one of our software engineering students who has been studying in the program and has a lot of experience in how the program works, and we're going to answer some of your questions about the program. Thank you. I got the first question. So what exactly is software engineering? So software engineering is all about solving problems. And really, it's looking at how do I design and implement software systems to solve complex problems. And that's what makes it the interesting discipline is because we're not dealing with simple problems. We're dealing with very sophisticated, complex problems. And how do we build software systems that can influence how everything happens in the world? Because there's almost nothing left in the world that isn't controlled by software. So we're automating everything. You we're mean. doing that, yeah. yes. <laughs> so who should study software engineering? Really, it's anyone who likes problem solving. So if you like looking at problems and saying, I could figure out a way to solve that. I know how to deal with that. Or I'd like to figure out how to solve that problem. I like dealing with problems and challenges and puzzles. That's what we're looking for as someone who's going to do well in software engineering. So how do you study software engineering at UQ? So at UQ, the software engineering degree is part of the engineering degree. And so we have a specialization within the engineering degree in software. And within that software engineering specialization, we're able to take you from the fundamental ideas through to the more advanced topics. And that leads you into how you design and build complex systems. So Nazia, why did you decide to study software engineering? So I actually didn't choose to do software engineering at UQ first. Um, I enrolled in engineering initially and the first year program sort of let me pick and choose my courses. So initially I chose mechatronics and um, being mechatronics you need to do mechanical, electrical and software. So I ended up choosing a software course to do first in my first year. And I really liked the instant gratification you get as your code compiles and works where you need it to. So I ended up, you know, floating towards software and being motivated to choose that as my second, as my second year major. Okay, yeah. and yeah, we seem to get a number of students who sort of make that decision mm -hmm. around the yeah. end of first year. Yeah, software is growing in numbers, I feel. It definitely is, yeah. yes. So do you need to be able to code before you study software engineering? So no, you don't need to be able to program when you study. So our program within the software engineering specialization says, we'll take you from the very foundational steps and lead you through to the more complex systems design. So the first year is all about providing that foundation and we're able to provide that introduction to programming if you don't have that programming experience. Yeah, this was definitely me. I didn't know how to code. Um, I only came into UQ knowing that I love math and that was it. I can definitely vouch for that. So Richard, why do you believe a UQ education is so valuable? So I think the value of the UQ education is studying at UQ. It's the ability to take advantage of not just your degree, but it's the facilities and the connections that you can make with other students here on campus. So the degree itself is designed to give you lots of opportunities to engage with problem solving. There's lots of opportunities to work on large-scale problems and give you a realistic view of what it's like to work in your degree program. But there's also the opportunity to work with other students in other disciplines. And we've got the Ventures program, which allows you to connect with students across any degree program at UQ to look at solving real-world problems and hopefully starting a business out of it. And then there's the social activities of meeting other students and just making connections and friends are all advantages of UQ itself. Yeah, we also have a lot of clubs and societies at UQ and recently I've been seeing a lot of um, inter-degree inter or di interdisciplinary hackathons as well. Um, yeah, there was, a, there was a business and software one last year. So there I was, yeah. yes. Yeah, so, so lots of opportunities lot to of take advantage ideas. of things. Yeah. Yes. So Nazia, what do you love about your degree? So that would be the instant gratification I get when my code works the way I want it to. Um, what I also love about my degree is getting these big complex problems in software and then breaking it down into smaller, more logical little fragments, I guess, that I can solve in a sequential manner or in a way that makes sense to me. Um, and then just 
watching it all come together and then solve that bigger problem is something that I find pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, it's always pretty fascinating to see um, a large problem that you find quite challenging and then coming out by the end and saying, hey, I've actually done that. Um, so definitely the satisfaction I get from software engineering is, yeah, that's the reason why I love it. So yeah, it is a fun, being able to solve problems yeah, is fun like a, and it's a great satisfaction to say, I did that. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like when you solve a massive, you know, 1,000 piece puzzle. Um, that's sort of the feeling I get when I do my degree. So for the last question, what does the future of this industry look like? So software engineering is one of the really interesting fields to get into because there's so many opportunities. Everything is driven by software nowadays that you can't pick up the tiniest little toy in the supermarket for a dollar that doesn't seem to have software inside of it. All complex systems are controlled by software. One of the things we've looked at in the design of the new software engineering specialization at UQ is that we're featuring it as preparing you to control and be the lead engineer in very complex, massive systems. And so you would be, as the software engineer, leading the mechanical engineers, the civil engineers, the electrical engineers to build very large scale systems. So there's lots of opportunities because everything depends on software. And in the business environment, no one makes a decision without looking to software. So someone who's got an MBA and is making decisions in the strategy of their business is going to turn to the software systems they have and look for information from that to base their decisions. So really, as a software engineer, you have the opportunity to influence the world, that everything is going to be influenced by software. It's your opportunity as a software engineer to make an impact.